Look at verse 18. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient when once the long suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing within few, that is, eight souls were saved by water. Now I find this interesting because this is the passage that people will go to to prove that there was two parts to hell before Jesus Christ came. And that they were kept in this part called paradise and that when Jesus died, he was buried, he went to paradise, preached the gospel to them. They all got saved and he let them out. That would mean paradise is prison, right? Because if Jesus went to prison to preach to those people of the Old Testament, he went to prison to preach. Where are they? They're, well, they're in paradise. Jesus to the thief on the cross, this day thou shalt be with me in prison. Yes. Abraham, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Prison. But one day I'll get you out. That sounds like purgatory which, by the way, is not in the Bible. By the way, paradise is up, not down, okay? All the Old Testament saints that died, and they, they, they followed God, they believed God, they died, and they went to prison. That's, that's, that's if their doctrine's true, that if this is talking about paradise, the Bible's calling it prison here, okay? That's why every word of God is pure. That's why you can't change one word, because I'm sure it'd be nice to change that word to paradise, and then their doctrine would fit real nice. And here's, one, here's the biggest red flag. That doctrine, that, that thought, doesn't fit anywhere in the context of chapter 1, 2, or 3. So here we see these chapters building upon each other, and then, oops, oh yeah, by the way, a really weird doctrine I'm going to give you two verses on, and then I'm just going to move back to the subject. Or maybe we aren't looking at it right. Maybe it actually fits the context. We're talking about submission, we're talking about authority, and here we see the patience of submission, where God is willing to just preach, 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 waiting for just someone to get saved. And that's what's being taught 